Hello everyone and welcome to the Jubilee celebrations and they got off to a flying start, literally a flying start, fantastic crowd, fantastic weather, uh, the Queen in great spirits, um, the, all the pomp and circumstance one would have hoped for, um, beautifully done, fantastic energy and of course the Harkles hidden for the most part behind that window and uh, really didn't dampen the uh, proceedings as we all fear that they would. They seem to be have, have been kept in check superbly by the royal family. The poor of Duke of Kent sent into the breach um, to deal with them. And uh, so first reading today are about the Trooping the Colour is about Megan's appearance in the window her window display. There she was, uh, talking animatedly with Savannah and Aya Phillips, caught, papped, well not papped, she did uh, manage to get herself in the sight of a camera. She does have an unerring instinct for when cameras might be looking her way. There she was, uh, doing her best to be all smiley and friendly, uh, but she was caught in a very unfortunate moment when her true nature came out. She really looked like a witch when she was shushing the two girls unnecessarily. No reason for her to be doing that, although Prince Harry had seemingly in, in jest done it a little bit before, but she was really caught in a very awkward moment. So I want to know, just do a little reading around that, um, what she was up to, how the girls responded, how they really feel about her, how Megan really feels she had all her best uh, foot forward, her best large foot forward in terms of her clothing, her seeming engagement with the royals and their children, uh, but what's really going on behind the scenes, how does she really feel and how do the royals really feel about her right now, and particularly the way she used those two girls uh, for her own advantage and so that she could be seen in the window looking as if she was engaged with them in a friendly way. She doesn't really do children very well and one little boy stole all her thunder on the day and that will be my next reading. But for now, you can see I have a new tarot deck out on the table. Uh, it is the Radiant Tarot Pathway to Creativity. One of these giant boxes that's impossible to fit the Radiant Tarot that you can sort of see and uh, who it is by. Two names there and it is about creativity but I liked it and I've been saving it for this weekend. I've got to find a place to put the box because Tess is sleeping where I'd normally be putting it. I like it because of that very royal symbol, very radiant symbol, very powerful energy and I'm very pleased with the way things have gone so far as I'm sure you all are too. Parkles really seem to be boxed in, really seem to have been kept in the cheap seats at the back, driven in a van to the celebration. The rest of them all resplendent in their carriages. And uh, I think the royals are handling this very well. We'll of course read on it in depth uh, as we go. But for now, just this window display, window dressing by Megan. The cards are very jumpy, really, really, really want to talk. And um, let's have a look and see what they, what they have to say about Megan and Savannah and Isla Phillips. Her engagement with them, what she was up to, how they feel about her, what she was really up to, how she's really feeling about what's going on right now. She must be a little bit mortified, I have to say, and I'm sure, especially when she saw that photo that uh, <laughs> really displayed her true nature, uh, in my opinion. And of course, we all know the draw by now, this is all my opinion, all for entertainment purposes. Five card reading about Megan and her little performance for the cameras. We knew she would be doing it. She got out the gate very fast with that and I uh, have to say, uh, pretty impressive uh, how quickly she finds the cameras and she's able to ham it up for them. Underlying energy of this reading is very significant, the chariot in reverse. And how interesting because we saw all those carriages, we saw all that pomp and circumstance and uh, it was not for her. She has been stopped in her tracks with the chariot in, in I nearly said in adverse, in reverse, 
Uh, she really has been run off the road by the royals. They stopped her ambitions because the chariot is all about ambition, political ambition, and, uh, along with anything else. And they stopped her in her tracks with that card. Major arcana, major disappointment for her, major blow for her. She didn't expect, I don't think, to be stuck behind that window um, while everybody else was out and about. She didn't expect to be driven there in a in a van, a uh, sort of minibus thing, while everybody else was going along in their carriages. Very funny, well played, royal family, well played, Her Majesty the Queen. Absolutely. When we look back at this in years to come, the pictures we're going to remember are of the Cambridges and the carriage and little Prince Louis. We are not going to remember the Wicked Witch in the window. So let's see just the situation. This reading is from Megan's point of view. Page of Swords is uh, bad communication, quite vicious communication. I think um, that she's not going to appreciate the tone of the conversation around her on social media, in the press, um, that kind of thing. Um, it really thwarted, thwarted in her communications and her ambitions to communicate. Page of Swords is all about um, uh, research and spying and internet and all that kind of thing. But it's in the reverse. It's going badly for her. She's getting really negative uh, press here, negative feedback, blow after blow raining down. People quite gleeful in the way she's been squeezed out of the whole thing. So that is also quite a telling card. But let's see what she was up to, her own intent tensions with this display in the window. Knight of Pentacles um, wanted to be seen as solid in with, the, in with the in crowd, the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is of course a Prince Harry card, earth sign prince generally, but it's a movement. Uh, horses, interestingly, this is an animal themed de deck as you may have realized by now, but there it is on the horse. Um, slow steady progress she wanted to be seen to be part of the establishment she wanted to be seen as part of the procession part of the pomp and circumstance she wanted to be seen as um, a, a steadfast member of the royal family um, royal adjacent is, is the thing that she's all after right now and it's the thing that she really wants she wanted to be seen as in with them part of them moving forward with them in that stately progress that the royals do so well she wanted to be seen to be part of that and who did she latch onto but two little girls who really defenseless against her so how did those little girls not so little how did they feel about the wicked witch in the window my opinion for entertainment purposes how did they feel didn't like it at all upset king of cups is their daddy he's a scorpio peter phillips i'm getting very um, uh, fluttery heart energy, anxious fluttery energy. Uh, for however smiley they were with the Wicked Witch, uh, I think we'll just call her that from now on, they were anxious. They were anxious. They didn't want to upset Daddy. They know Daddy doesn't like the Wicked Witch. Swans in this picture. Swans are the royal birds, of course, uh, belong to Her Majesty the Queen. The King of Cups, Peter Phillips, very upset. The girls know it. The girls know Daddy doesn't like the Wicked Witch. And uh, so they are very aware that they've been put in a difficult situation. Very well bred, very well brought up. Um, didn't um, uh, react like uh, you and me might have if the Wicked Witch had come and uh, done, uh, made a face like that in front of me. <laughs> I wouldn't be answerable for my actions and certainly the face I would have made. But uh, they held their nerve. But there it is, King of Cups in reverse, their father uh, really not happy and the girls know it. So how does Megan really feel right now? As the day is wearing on, how does she feel about things? A seven of Swords, very uncomfortable energy, very uncomfortable. She wants to run away. This card keeps repeating in the readings that I'm doing uh, at the moment. Seven of Swords is the disgrace card. Uh, it is cowardly behavior. It is leaving, running away from your duty, your obligations, taking things that don't belong to you, whether it's a royal prince or perhaps jewelry or anything that anyone might take that doesn't belong to them. I'm speaking generally and not specifically here. And of course, all my opinion and all allegedly and all for entertainment purposes, she wants to run away. 
she is being treated like a traitor. Uh, she knows it. Everybody knows it. And uh, so there is no way that she can ignore the fact that she is the one that betrayed the royal family. She's the one that left them, ghosted them, um, denounced them in a very dishonorable and cowardly way, giving them no opportunity to fight back. She is a very aware of it and it is sitting beneath the page of swords in reverse which is this cutting cruel vicious energy communications that are harsh mean nasty uh, mockery a lot of mockery in that page of swords she's feeling it and uh, how's the royal family feeling uh, about her so far how are they uh, viewing all of this just as the outcome card what is going on with them knight of wands um, they are very focused on their display. We've got two knights in this um, reading. The Knight of Wands, very energetic, very showy, very theatrical, um, very powerful, very forceful, very exciting. They're very, very focused on doing what they do best, which is all this pomp and circumstance and theatre. And um, really dominating I, I get the energy from this card she wanted to be seen as royal adjacent as part of this um, lineage and this estately progress and they are almost giving it to her with that <laughs> that wand uh, with that flaming wand it's a very interesting depiction because it's it's growing but it's also kind of flaming and uh, they are very focused on winning this media battle, this PR battle. This is what this Knight of Wands is about, about PR. And they are winning. They are winning hands down today, first day. So uh, things could uh, happen, of course. And I think the birthday day is going to be the big one on Saturday, where we'll see what really happens and whether Megan can get that money shot that she wants. A little bit and a little bit, but so far, Royals are winning and Royals are intent on keeping that way, keeping it that way, keeping their, their, um, their, their energy high and the right message getting out there, the right action scene, the right movements. It's all being choreographed, it's all being rehearsed, both um, as they were trooping the colour and behind the scenes with, as I say, people like the poor Duke of Kent sent out to do battle on behalf of the Queen. It's been staged, managed perfectly. It's very theatrical, it's very impressive, and it's a very very positive. I'm delighted to say that. I'm delighted that I could crack open these cards. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to use them today. Absolutely thrilled. Um, well played so far, Royal Family. Wicked Witch in the window. Uh, curtains, hopefully for her. That's the first reading. On with the next one.